Hello, 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 beautiful people. How are you doing on this beautiful Thursday? Yes, it's Thursday. So the boys are still home. They're still sick. I just finished uh, one of my sessions and it was a really good one, which I thought would be an interesting topic to talk about with you guys and share a little bit of um, information of what time management means to to most people and especially when social media is involved um, and when I say or um, maybe social media is not exactly the the only reason why but your devices because so many of us I mean you go outside and every every single human being has a phone pretty much right some of them are even very young and they already have their phones so you see that everyone is using their phones, their technology, no matter where you go. People use that also as an escape from reality. And they don't realize it, what control it has of them and of their life and their family life. And quite often uh, I hear people spending a lot more time on their phones than they do with their family. Um, even at dinner table, they'll sit down and they'll play with their phones and, and watch a movie and one person or both people or however people are in that house, they're sitting there watching a movie on their devices and, and watching together and spending quality time together. Quality time does not mean you sitting on your device because you're you're physically there, but you're mentally not there. So you're mentally, you have checked out already. You're somewhere else. And especially on social media, it's so easy to get pulled right into that world and escape the one that you're in right now. And I would imagine that everybody is, Everybody's out on a search for happiness, for joy, for feeling that bliss. And would it be a shock to all of you to hear that the only way you can have that in your life is if you learn to be present in the moment. Being present in the moment means being present in your moment, in, in your body, in your time and what's around you, not what's on the screen in front of you. Because that is, that is a whole different world, okay? Um, a whole entirely different world. And it's a great world. Don't get me wrong. I love it. And this is how businesses grow and thrive nowadays. Um, and people grow and thrive because there's so much available for us to uh, personal grow ourselves. And if you're into that kind of thing, two thumbs up for you. Um, but when it comes to spending time with your family and managing that time, we need to be a little bit more strategic about it. Um, and what does that mean? That means that you have your own life right? You have your own kind of a uh, time schedule, so to speak, where let's say you work nine to five and you come home at 530 and you just want to sit down and play on your phone, but dinner needs to get done. The kids need, want to play with uh, their mommy and daddy. You want to spend time with your partner. You want to do other things. Maybe you want to read. So figuring out what fits in what time of your day or in that evening to get maybe everything squeezed in or perhaps maybe setting some other things to a different day. But making sure that first and foremost it, that you are um, being true and honest to your own values. Okay? And that basically means that if one of your values which most people values, they have, uh, <clears throat> in most people values, they have family, okay? So if your value, one of your values is friend, uh, family, and you are not spending time with your family, spending time with your friends more, or you're spending more time on your phone, or you're spending time with yourself, or spending time with, uh, with something or someone else, and you're not actually spending time with your family, what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself, um, having this phrase go through your mind, I should, I should, I should, or I should have, I should have done this, I, I would love to do that. And it's a lot of shoulds, woulds, and coulds 
or can't, won't, and don't want to. Um, and we, by us not allowing ourselves to actually follow what's true to us and do what we truly want to do, which is spend quality time with our loved ones, you can... <clears throat> you can start to find yourself uh, hurting a little bit. <laughs> um, and, and the biggest reason is because you are essentially telling yourself no and not following your own values and your own beliefs. Um, so um, what else was I, did I want to say about um, time management? I think that's pretty much all I really wanted to mention. Um, I didn't have, <laughs> I don't have an outline for this video. I just literally just hopped on and I thought anything that comes to mind, I'll speak it um, as I have been doing for the last few videos. Um, yeah, but in figuring out what quality time means to you and how you would use it, um, you, what you would do about it, and most importantly, getting clear on what you are going to get out of it. So do this exercise if you would like to, for yourself, on your own time, or even now. This would be also great to kind of to start off to understanding what's important, why it's important, and if you really want it or not, right? But have a column. I like to kind of... I'm a visual person. I like to see things in, in simple, plain, white and black type of thing, right? It doesn't have to be black on, on white. It could be a blue pen on, on the white paper. But two different columns. In one column, you're going to write quality time, right, with family. And, and then start writing down what you're going to get out of it, the benefits of it, right? Um, and then on the other side, you can write down uh, whatever is stopping you from achieving that quality time from having that quality time with your family and write down what is basically uh what what is happening there what's causing you and the um the negatives of it right if you would like you can have four columns so for each one you can do the the pros and cons and then for the other one do pros and cons as well and then play around and see um see what's benefiting you and what's not and how it's benefiting you and how it's not and what you would like and what what's basically what's going to happen if you uh choose to have quality time with your family or you choose to have quality time with your with your phone with technology with social media or whatever it is that you're doing and having uh, maybe for you for most people they don't like to have strict time zone when you i'm gonna put my phone away and not touch it um or when I'm going to be on my phone and, and, and use it and work my business or whatever it is that you're doing in there. Um, for most people, they just kind of have, um, I guess, an, an outline, so to speak, that, for example, when my, my family is home, for me, okay, when my family is home, when the kids get home in the, in the uh, afternoon from school, I usually put my phone on vibrate or on silent and I put it away. I actually put it on on vibrate or sound once my husband gets home, once everybody is home and I have nothing to worry about and I put my phone completely away and I do not touch it. Uh, but once the kids get home, um, my stuff gets put away and I'm there with the kids for the most part, mind you, um, you still need to be strategic around with your time. So if you haven't, let's say you're starting your business, you're working your business or whatever it is that you're doing and you need to use your phone for work. Okay, and you haven't been able to do it during the day, this is where you can give yourself a little bit of a, a leeway, so to speak, where you can still use your phone, you can do these things, but of course, you're not going to be ignoring the kids completely, and you finish your stuff, and then, okay, mommy's done, now let's go, what are we doing now, right? Um, and then also, quality time with your kids does not mean you are doing what you want to do, okay, because it's not really about you. How you how you view quality time might not necessarily be the same as your children. Um, so which means that let's sit down and color. Not every child likes to color. I mean, most kids I know like to color, but coloring as one example, right? Especially when they get older, it's going to change how they're going to be spending time with you. So color might not be uh, the thing. It might be just sitting down and watching a movie together. Right? If that's how they want to spend time with you, then that's how you spend time. Silently sit down watching a movie. It doesn't have to be face to face and let's draw or let's let's work on something, let's let's write and do things like that. 
school is one thing, education, right? It's one thing. And then the fun times and then the alone times. Everybody needs all of those. So incorporating uh, whatever uh, works for you as individuals um, and for your children as individuals themselves because they are not like my kids are not like me my kids are not like my husband they are their own individuals they might have certain qualities um from us which might not necessarily be acquired through genes for the most part they are but they're still their own little people they're still their own individuals they have their own thought process their own comprehension of things their own interpretation their own stories their own way of learning as well which is not like me which is not like my husband their own way their own stuff so keeping that in mind that each and every one of us is entirely different individual and yet we are one that's an interesting concept now is it <laughs> Um, anyways, that's all I have for you guys for today. I got to go take care of the boys downstairs now. And it was a pleasure sharing this with you guys today. And I look forward to having a chat tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching.